Good Saturday morning, you two modeling community. Papper here at West Georgia Rods and Customs. You're right, this Saturday morning, it's another episode of What's on Pappy's Bench. We're going to get started off today. I already got the shop card holder in place here, as you can see. We're going to start off with one of the shop cards that I've gotten pretty recently. Uh, this builder, he is, man, I tell you, I've actually uh, been watching Frank's channel for a while, and uh, he had been subscribed to me. Then uh, we got together on a lot of chats, and then I got to meet him in Atlanta here at Acme last year, and we had a awesome time. We're just talking, uh, hanging out uh, about you know, just talking about model cars, hanging out at the at the show, uh, had dinner uh, with him. Uh, we just our lunch actually had lunch. We went down to the uh, little uh, church down below where the uh, show's at. Uh, he and I, uh, uh, Lucas C, Brian, BG, uh, Brian over at Got Fuels Model Car, we went to lunch together and we just, we had a great time. And uh, like I say, if y'all can ever make it down to the Acme show here in uh, Smyrna, Georgia each year, come, come down. Not only will you see a lot of great models, but you'll develop a friendship with uh, some of the builders and, and uh, some of the Acme club members that'll last for a lifetime. So. Anyhow, here's his shop card, Frizzo's Model Cards Garage, FMC, established since 2019. Frank's a, just an awesome builder. He's another one of the uh, YouTube content creators that if you're, if, when you watch his channel, you're going to watch, you're going to see a lot of content as far as uh, just different genres that he builds. He's going to like a, like this old street ride right here, uh, muscle cars, you name it, Frank builds it. So, if y'all get a chance, I'll drop a link down below. Get by, look at some of his content, and tell him Pappy sent you. Frank, appreciate the card. Appreciate everything else, buddy. Enjoy hanging out with you on the Hangouts, too, buddy. My next one is, uh, he is one, we've known each other for a while. And uh, we used to hang out on the Friday Night Hangout. I was watching, uh, uh, I was watching an uh, interview last night. Uh, with uh, Lucas C. Uh, Clifton Smith was, uh, and he got, uh, he's the one on, uh, he's the interviewee on the Unpodcast for Lucas C. this week. Is this a shop card? No. This gentleman right here was on, uh, he used to be on Friday Night Hangout with uh, myself and uh, Clifton and Skylar and Young Model Master. Good friend here. Mr. Martin Zeller. This gentleman right here, hell of a modeler. Oh my goodness. Martin builds, uh, he's just like me. He's multi-genre. He loves building uh, old hot rods like this. That that just, that beautiful Willis, that beautiful 55. And, and man, that, that Pontiac right there. Mm, man, I tell you. But Martin, appreciate everything over the years. Beautiful shop card. Y'all get subscribed to him. Another YouTube, uh, awesome YouTube content creator. Uh, goes through, builds, starts you, from, shows you from start, start up to finish on a lot of his models. So, anyhow, Martin, appreciate everything. Great, beautiful card here. Love it, man. Now this next gentleman right here, his card speaks words for for himself. And not only does it speak words for itself, the card, I'm probably going to, have to pull the camera back because it's bigger than life also, just like he is. He's bigger than life. And I tell you what, this man right here, he and I have, uh, uh, I have uh, had the privilege of meeting him a couple of times. Uh, he's come down to the Acme show. We have, uh, we've had a great time together each time, but, uh, I ain't got any much more to say about this gentleman, except for Charlie Mack, the model works. Charlie builds a lot of, uh, he's multi-genre as well. He come up during the big rig group build one year, came up and decided he was going to build this monster right here. And it was a, uh, I tell you, it's, it's beautiful. He took ship parts from a battleship, uh, implemented them on this old, uh, it's almost like something from, you know, 
uh, out of uh, out of the past. I tell you, it's just beautiful. I, I love loved it when he did it. I've been the reciprocant of a build that he built in honor of my mother, and uh, I have it proudly displayed here in the in the model shop as well. But he builds uh, uh just builds everything, helicopters. He has a passion for a lot of the older kits that uh, uh, that came out years ago, as far as old uh, like Duesenbergs, things like that. But Charlie, Matt, you know how I feel about it, brother. I appreciate you, appreciate your support over the years. But if y'all aren't subscribed to this gentleman right here, get subscribed to him. Great content creator for YouTube for the YouTube modeling community. He's another one of the pillars of the community. And uh, get subscribed to him. Tell him Pappy sent you. Charlie Mack, love you, brother. Let's take this away. Let's talk about this little, this little beautiful little Jeep right here. I built this. Uh, I built this a while back. Uh, I had. Uh, I've only shown it once at a at a show. I think I showed it at the Acme show. This is the uh, Ravel uh, curbside Jeep Rubicon, and. Uh, I built this right here, uh, this Jeep. Why is it pink? Well, I did it for a couple of reasons, not because I like Barbie Jeeps. Uh, I built this in honor of my wife's mother, uh, Madeline. Uh, Vicky's mother, uh, we, we lost her uh, to lung cancer. And she was just a... She was just a peach. I tell you what, I I love Madeline, and I did this one night. I was sitting, uh, I was sitting in the model room, and I was just thinking to myself, what could I do? Uh, what could I do in honor of her? And I painted this because I painted it pink because that was uh, uh, just that that was Madeline. She was just a class act. She was a classy woman. And uh, I feel like I could see her just driving around in this in this Jeep. Let me set it up a little bit closer. You can see the accents that I used in the bottom. Uh, in it, I painted the steering wheel pink, shifter knob pink, uh, the oh crap bar pink. Uh, just a little accents. If you can look closely down in there, the shift uh, transfer case panel, I painted it pink as well but just did a great amount of detail. I two-toned it. I started, this is where I started kind of developing uh, the, you know, wanting to detail the interior, especially with a convertible like this. And uh, I just started doing a lot of uh, two-tone paint jobs on the interior. Uh, just did the, uh, this is a curbside kit too. So if you look down on the, on the mirror right there, uh, a lot of accent went up under it as far as the, on the gas tank, the skid plate, uh, even on the engine itself, that engine is molded into the, um, uh, frame of the engine. Now this kit is curbside. There's nothing up here. The hood doesn't pull off or anything. So I, uh, uh, one of these days, if I can ever find another one of these kits, I'm going to, I may try to do something a little bit more of this. These are awesome tires and wheels. Uh, if you ever wanted to kit bash, uh, to take these uh, wheels and use them on maybe a, another truck or something. I also lifted this truck, so you, uh, this Jeep. So if you can tell it's higher, if you've ever built this kit, you'll notice that it's a little bit higher than what it, what it, comes out of the box as but uh this is uh i built this in honor of my mother-in-law madeline jackson and uh i it's this has been one of the older bills but when i told vicky what i was doing uh when i was going to build this for madeline it's just uh man uh can't say anymore. I'm just going to keep spinning it around and letting y'all see, let y'all see it as it is. The roll bar in the back, if you notice, it's not the kit roll bar that comes with the kit. I just took some tubing 
uh, some styrene and bent me up a, uh, a custom, just a regular old custom roll bar like you would, you know, like you would see anywhere else, uh, you know, instead of that. I don't know. I just didn't like the kit roll bar that was in that thing. So I just took it out and fabricated that one on up. But there you are. That's, uh, that's my, that's the Revell, uh, Jeep Rubicon kit. But I've done this in, in honor of my mother-in-law, Madeline. Anyhow, I'm going to close this out. Folks, I really appreciate all the, uh, all the thumbs up, all the great comments on this series coming back here, showing y'all some of my older bills, as well as debuting a lot of the awesome other YouTube content creators out there on YouTube. Anyhow, folks, have a great Saturday. Remember, if you can dream it, build it. God bless y'all. Pappy out of here.